You might already recognize this device. It's a stepping motor. It's a four-wire stepping motor, and eh, it's pretty typical. Um, and no, this is not a micro miniature stepping motor. What's going on? Well, you probably didn't notice, but stuck in back here with a little magnet is the tiny stepping motor. So you can see in comparison just how tiny that thing is. Okay, let's do a close up on it. These are the electrical contacts. Um, and you can see compared to the point of a ballpoint pen, they're kind of tiny. Yes, there should be four. I damaged one taking it out, desoldering it. I would love to show you this in operation, but I've, yeah, I messed up. Okay, so that is, those are the contacts. There's four of them, should be four of them. Uh, here's the shaft. Again, you can see it's not much bigger than the ball of the pen. Um, yeah, okay, so you can see the two sets of, of uh, coils in there. Yeah, that's got a sealed back end, and that's about it. Uh, very tiny. I see a couple welds here, and a couple welds back here, and there's probably some on the other side. Let me see if I can cut these open, and let's take a look inside this thing. I uh, had to use my little cutting wheel to just saw all the way around this, and as you can see, there is the uh, rotor, and it looks like it's got a magnet spring on it. Um, wow. And copper coils. So it's not too terribly different than a, uh, than a regular stepping motor. Let me move this around a little bit so we can get some different angles on it. This is the front half and you can see the copper bearing in there, the bronze bearing. And then this plastic ring apparently contains one of the two coils and I cut right through it right in the middle. And the back half, spoiler alert, looks very similar. Um, so that's the front. Let's flip it over real quickly so you can get it. So you can see what's happening. And there's that bronze bearing that goes all the way through to that side. Okay, so we have a coil, we have a bearing, and the housing. Let's look at the back half. This is the back half of the casing. You can see that copper coil down inside there. And you can see the two contacts for that coil. And I just got lucky and split it exactly in the middle and then this thing is sticking out of there. I'll take it all the way out of there. It looks like it does like shapes the magnetic field that the coils produce. Uh, and then we'll look at the uh, the shaft and the little magnet on that in a second. I think it'll be clear but yeah that's uh, that's what's going on there. And from this angle you can just barely glimpse that back bearing in there. Okay so let me remove that field shaper or whatever it is, and we'll take another look at it. Okay, grab that out of there. And now you can see the coil, and then that thing I keep calling a magnetic field shaper. This is the shaft. I've got that field shaper piece in there, and this is the front of the uh, motor with the coil in it. You can see I'm holding on to the shaft. There's the front bearing. Um, and then we'll take the shaft out of there and so we can see that. And now finally we have the, uh, the shaft and it's just a magnet with multiple fields on it. It's got a spring to hold, the, uh, hold it in position and then a uh, plastic washer and that's it for the rotor. And there's our micro miniature stepping motor in comparison to my, the tip of my little finger. This was sure something new to me. I hope you found it interesting as well.